sometimes glass and stuff gets stuck in here. It's not the case this time though. Just gonna get this out of the way for now. I'm gonna take this pump out. But first I gotta get the water out of here. I can vacuum it out or use a turkey baster. Most of the water's out. Now I'm gonna remove the pump and check for obstructions. Sounds like it's trying to run, but it's not. So the Whirlpool model. Um, here's the dream pump. I have a rag or something ready because water's gonna come out. Sometimes these drain pumps have screws that hold them in. I don't think this one does. Just gonna twist to the left. I'm gonna get my rag ready because I know some water's gonna come out. Now I've got the power off to this unit unplugged as well. So right here, just gonna twist. Look inside here. We've got a piece of glass. I don't know how those things get past the strainers, but they always do. I'm gonna turn the power back on and just make sure that the pump spins freely. Is spinning. All right, let's turn the power back off and put this back on. And you can also stick your finger down that hole, make sure nothing's blocking it. Sometimes this hose gets clogged up. And you can feel it slide into the grooves. It shouldn't be moving or wobbling at all. Let's fill it up and test it. And just a heads up, another reason why your dishwasher might not drain this float switch. Sometimes silverware gets caught under it and it just won't let it drain. But let's fill this up and test it out. Always check for leaks whenever you work on a dishwasher and you run it for the first time. All right, let's drain it. This only sounds like it's spinning. Trying to the disposal. Sounds good, looks good. I'm gonna check. Looks like it got all the water out. Now, there's just a, barely any water at all in there. There's a tad bit of water left in here. The sump, that's normal. Put the strainer back on. Just twist to the right. That's it, that's how you fix a dishwasher that won't drain. Today's model is WDF320PADS2 Whirlpool.